Hey guys, happy new year. Ooh, sorry about that light. Hey, so I gotta go, I come on here, cause I can talk, um, to talk about some things and I figured I'd do one of these masks. Yes, I just ripped it open and I was like, oh, let me film real quick. Um, so these, this is the Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating for Dry Skin Energy, the Energizing Coffee Bubbling Paper Mask. So, just come with me. I'm going to put it on my face because I need a little something, something for some extra hydrating. Um, also, whoa, hold on. Boom. Plus, also, um, I got, I'm going to start a whole new, semi new skin routine this year, 2019. Um, ooh, I've never seen one this color before. They're usually white. This one's not white. This one is, come on. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Uh, it's brown. That's weird. Uh, what am I gonna say, you guys? Hold on one second. Well, no. This is what I'm gonna do. I knew I should've just put this on first, but I was so eager to talk to you guys. I was like, oh my God, I gotta film. And my husband comes and lays down in a bed. I'm like, no, I gotta film. He's like, oh, you don't need a film today. Oh, yes I do. You know what it smells like? Oh, this is weird. I don't know if I can talk to you guys like this. This smells like tanning bed. Like when you, I don't know for anybody that goes tanning. It kind of has, um the smell of tanning uh, lotion, but like if you ever, if anybody experiences going in the bed, the rooms, because they got the fans and stuff running, it has like a certain smell with the clean and stuff. Oh my God, this is so weird. This is just does not fit my face. I really need it to be right up under my eyes though. This is where I'm dry. I'm dry in my T-zone area. Most people are oily, but I am dry. I'm dry right up in here. Well, I got this thing on funky. Sorry guys, but look, it's starting to foam up. Yeah, this is weird. Oh my God, this is so weird. <laughs> so anyway, my routine for my face is Sorry, to get it really <clears throat> moisturized because it's really been dry this year. Oh my god, this looks so weird. <laughs> and um, I always use oil of Olay. I've always used oil of Olay. My mom's always used oil of Olay, but I switched up <coughs> the different kind of <coughs> moisturizers that I have with them. So we'll see how that goes. I got their seven vitamins or something and then a nighttime one and then an anti-wrinkle one so we'll see we'll see how that goes but anyway how's it going guys yes happy new year happy new year sorry if you're being bothered by this but um i thought this would just be fun to talk to you guys while i have this on and see how it feels when i'm done but um where's my towel anyway i did want to get on here and talk about New Year Resolutions. Now, for those that follow me and have been following me for a long time. Hi, guys. And all the newbies. Hi. But I don't never usually set a New Year's resolution because I'm like, I used to be like one of those people that would say stuff like, I'm not setting it because then if I break it, I don't disappoint myself. You know, I mean, that's the reality of it. Um, a lot of people that I watch that say the same thing too, um, you know, because you set something and then you don't follow through and then it's a bigger disappointment. However, this year I am changing everything about that. I am setting new goals. I am setting all kinds of things this year um, because I feel like it gives me something like a guideline, like a like a guide to help me through 2019 so I'm like okay 
I'm going to set resolutions. Um, one of them is my uh, skin routine. Because I feel like I've been neglecting my skin lately. And, um, yeah, it needs to be a little bit better. So, that was one of them. Another one is, obviously, keto. <coughs> Sorry if I'm coughing, but I've been sick these past couple weeks, and I just cannot get rid of that cough. <coughs> this cough just lingers. Anyway, um, so, let's just talk about keto really quickly. I've totally fallen off the bandwagon. Yes, I have. 100%. These past uh, few days, this past week, I don't think I've really done anything that was kind of keto besides eating my low-carb rats when I make something like tacos or something like that. Um, but because I just, I've been sick and then I've had relatives coming in town and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I told myself these past few months or this past, yeah, all these months, I have been doing like a low carb and trying to stick to keto and I just feel so frustrated so I was just like well let me just give this week to myself not that I gorged myself it's not like oh I'm not doing it let me run out and shuffle my face with all this stuff I didn't do that I just ate the meals that I made my family for dinner and I had a couple of snacks here and there that I normally wouldn't have but um same thing I wake up my coffee is the same i not, you know, I have my breakfast, which is usually eggs and something else, and my tur turkey bacon or whatever. Um, if I do have lunch, if not, then I have like a late snack and then dinner. And then whatever I make my dinner is dinners for my family. That's what I was eating. So that's what I mean by falling off the bandwagon. Now, I, for Christmas, Santa came and got me this book. Oh my gosh, how about this? So, this is probably one of my favorite keto YouTubers right here, uh, Matt and Mega. Uh, I support them not only because I truly believe in the things that they say, but he's also a Michigander. And they're so cute together. I love them. But um, my husband went and got me this book. He looked everywhere for this book. This is their cookbook. Um, and... There was only one in the whole entire area because he obviously didn't want to order anything and have it come to the house because you know I'd open it. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so I'm going to try some recipes with them. What I'm thinking about doing is doing like a blind flip through the book and stick my finger right there and that's the recipe that I'm going to try. So we might do that. Um, I looked through my pantry because I cleaned out my pantry, refrigerator, seasoning, season racks, like everything. And I have so much stuff that's keto friendly. It's kind of ridiculous to be honest. The only things that I probably need would be some like some vegetables, maybe like some zucchini to make zucchini noodles and stuff like that. But, um, sorry, but, uh, I have a lot of things keto. I mean, I have sweeteners. I got three different kinds of sweeteners to almond flour to uh, butter and coconut oil and olive oil and just a ton of things. So I think I'm all set on that besides me actually doing recipes to make like ooh, fat bombs or, you know, things that I need to keep around the house for stuff that I need. So I'll probably be making a bunch of stuff. On Thursday, my kids go back to school, so that'll give me the whole day. That morning, I'm just totally focusing on prepping and getting a lot of stuff done that day. So I will be filming that day. Thumbs up on that. Um, and then my book that I had all my keto stuff in, like my weight, my measurements from, you know, all this past year that I've done everything is gone. So my son takes my notebooks and he writes in them. I'm like, what did you do now? I don't know what I did with it. I think I threw it away. No, buddy. What are you doing? You got to go find that book. So I've been looking all around the house and I cannot find it. And I really do think he threw it away. And I'm really, really sad if it, if that happened. So. 
I got a new book. And it has nothing in it. <coughs> Absolutely nothing. So I got my pen. And I got some other colored pens, which I'm excited about. And I'm going to have to write out a whole new thing. Sorry, focus. Hello. A whole new um sheet set up and like everything. I'm going to have to redo everything. But then I figured maybe... That was a blessing in disguise because today is New Year Day, New Year's Day, right? January 1st, 2019. I don't have anything to look back on, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe because I was meant to start fresh this day forward. Um, so, yes. So I need to get on the scale and do all that stuff. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So that's why I figured I'd do this video real quick. Uh, and I'm trying to think Wednesday morning, I'll do a weigh in, I'll do measurements and get all that stuff situated. I'm going to write stuff in my book today just to get that prepped and ready for Thursday because I'm going to be doing like fat bombs and a bunch of other things, which I was shockingly surprised that my local grocery store sells Lily, um, chips you know chocolate chips and they're only five dollars a bag that's not that bad but I didn't buy any I'm like mm. when I get to that point and if I want something chocolatey then I'll go get it and I'll make something then one more thing before I let you guys go I found all my stuff from the gym I am heading to the gym this week on Thursday and on Friday a lot of my gym stuff this is my little gym bag thingy that I keep all my stuff in. I got my little key card right here. Um, I found my... Ooh. Yes, my Fitbit that um, I lost. And I charged it up. So I got to get that re-sync to my phone. Um, I found my earbuds. Like everything that had remotely had anything to do with the gym, I kind of like lost and couldn't find it and then I cleaned out all my drawers and I cleaned my closet and got everything organized I found um like all my workout gear which I just been shoving in different places and this and that and I told myself today I was like this is the new year I'm cleaning all that out I'm cleaning all that out I'm getting everything ready and set so when it's time for me to get up and go to the gym I'm gonna have no complaints because usually it's like oh my god I gotta find my earbuds and I gotta charge them and what about I think I should take my Fitbit and I can't find my workout pants and what about that one shirt and da 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 so I completely got everything ready set go and who's coming in my room as I'm filming a video eh where are my kids <clears throat> Maybe they knew I was <coughs> doing a video. And yes, it, even if I'm coughing like this, <coughs> I am still going to the gym. So this week, my plan is to go to the gym Thursday morning and Friday morning. Kiddos are in school. Thursday, I'm going to come back and prep. And do stuff and write down meals, all that stuff. Get it all situated. Um, and hopefully do a recipe out of the Keto Made Easy cookbook. Um, this one, I think my husband said he found at Target. It was one left. It goes for $34.95 and I think he got like 15% off or something like that. But anyway, that is it. I'm going to take this off my face because my face is burning. And people keep coming in and out of my room. And I keep going in and out of focus. Focus, focus, focus. So, yes. So, I'm excited. I'm excited uh, for this coming up year. So many things. I threw away so many. Hi, you guys. I'm filming a video. Oh, he got scared because this thing on my face. Oh, oh my gosh. Anyway. All right, I'm out of here, guys.
uh, I'm going to have a video coming up with my win and all that good stuff and some goals that are being set. No, you cannot write in that book. I'm just See? Up. See? See what he does? What happened to my other book, huh? Mm. Yeah. See? Mm. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys are having a good day and a good week. Happy New Year's, and I will love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!